So in order to get live data from your car, you have to access this ECU, which you can get to from its OBD2 connector port, which comes standard on all cars, except this one. That is always down here underneath the dash. Right there. Freematix makes this excellent adapter for the Arduino. Uh, this is a company out of Australia, so it took a while to get here, but it works fantastic. Um, it has two slots for the power and then two for the serial connection for the Arduino. Um, this plugs straight into that connection I just showed you, and this plugs into Arduino, read data straight from it. So to power the LEDs, I the ones I bought need at least five volts um, with 2.1 amps. So in order to get power from your car, instead of running straight from the battery, which can be really dangerous actually and not very clean, uh, you wanna tap into the fuse box. Um, the amperage I need isn't gonna be a problem because these are <clears throat> like 20 and 30 and 10. 10 amps each. So once you find a fuse that you can use, um, I bought this piggyback thing. It plugs straight into the fuse and um, the old fuse plugs into the top here. Can't really see it. And then the new one plugs into the bottom. So you still have your original circuit, but you're basically adding a circuit onto your fuse box. Um, then out, it just comes the power cord. So this comes, depending on which one I plug it into, uh, it's usually 12 volts because it comes from the battery. So in the event that I can't find a five volt source, I bought this step down, goes from 12 volts to five volts with three amps, so that'll be perfect. Basically what you wanna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out. Pull out your fuse, plug this straight into this. So that fits in there just like the original fuse. And then your old fuse, just plug straight back into here. Like that, can't get it with one hand. But your old fuse goes into that one and the new one goes on the other side of it and out comes your power. So then in that case, that one's probably 12 volts. So I would use this step down, plug straight into that thing and out comes my five volts. So I clamped my adapter onto the ADA circuit. I'm probably gonna plug it into this 20 amp fuse right here. I don't really know if it's 12 volts or not. So we're just kind of guessing here. Um, but that'll go into there. New fuse is on top, it's a 15 amp fuse. And then that yellow one right there is gonna plug into the bottom. So then that's gonna be the old fuse. Hopefully I got that right. If not, no big deal, this stuff is cheap. I have my ground connected to a bolt there. Um, I've got my step down plugged in. Uh, the fuse is ready to be plugged in. And I have the power coming out of the step down to my LEDs down here. And then I already have a sketch uploaded on my Arduino. So uh, that does run through all those LEDs. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this sucker in. Yeah, I got them all lighted up. It's 150 LEDs actually. So let's go ahead and rev this sucker. I'm gonna do something really weird. It's almost like the color changing is delayed or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, at least I got the power working. Um, I'll work on the sketch and uh, see what we can do now. So I have the LEDs uh, set up in my car how I'd like them for the most part. Um, I have them running up on the ceiling, starting over by the fuse box where they're plugged in so it's going to be convenient. Um, I got them running up there, up along here on the passenger side, and then up down through here. Um, I had a little extra so I didn't really know what to do with it. I didn't want to go across the dash because that would be a little too... Uh, you know, distracting for me and other drivers. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get things cleaned up in the fuse box and then plug it in. So this is the current state <clears throat> of my fuse box. Um, I haven't plugged in the ground yet, but uh, I just kind of feel like this screams electrical fire, but you know, who cares? Here is the cleaned up fuse box. I have my connector down there, tucked nicely back into here. And then inside here, I have all the wires tucked in there along with the Arduino. So right now is the idle animation. It's basically when the car is running at below 1,000 RPMs. So when I'm at stoplights or whatever. So as soon as I go above 1,000 RPMs, it switches to the main animation. Um, right now, uh, the car RPM is mapped to the green color. Um, the blue stays at 255 and then the car RPMs raises the green value. I don't want to be too loud because people are sleeping, but I'm going to go off for a drive and uh, see what it looks like. Then it should go back to the, uh, yep, 
now it is at idle again. And then the last animation is uh, when I get above 6,000 RPMs, which is redlining, and it blinks red. So I'll get to that point uh, here in a little bit. You guys know this is very, very freaking bright. This is, I'm definitely gonna get pulled over. I can't even see out my windows. At least try to get it up to red line so you can see that animation. Yeah, this is so incredibly bright. This is ridiculous. So before I get pulled over, I'm gonna to try to do a pull and redline it real quick so you can see that. So let's go ahead and do that. officer. I'm turning these suckers off. 